it's Lisa from the Wee House of Crochet and welcome to Knit Craft Water Garden Crochet Along. We are on week three and this is round five. You should have something that looks like this and I think it's beautiful. Even the back is pretty and it's sturdy as well. So you should have something that looks like this. So uh, we're going to need yarn C. Uh, which I didn't show you before for some reason. I don't know what. Oh, sorry. Uh, so yarn C is your blue. Um, so the blue and the white looks lovely together. So yarn C for the white hydrangeas. Uh, for the yellow ones, it's yarn E. Um, but we're just doing the tutorial for this. It's quite easy really, isn't it? Um, I think it's a bit of a squeeze getting them all in and making sure you've got the right amount, otherwise you're not going to end up with a hex again. So, uh, round five says to join yarn C into any chain two space. So I'm going to start here. So I'm going to join it into my chain two space with a slip stitch. And then it says to chain four. So that's one, two, three, and four. Now what that counts as is a half treble and a chain two. So I'm going to work over my ends because I hate weaving in ends. So it says to then half treble into the same space. So half treble we yarn over once, insert the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three loops on the hook and what you've just created there is your first corner. So that's the corner created. Now it says to work two half treble into the next chain two space three times. So we're going to work two half treble and I'm working over my end. So this is the next chain two space. So yarn over, insert hook, pull up a loop, pull through all three loops on the hook. Yarn over, insert into the space, pull up a loop, yarn over. So there you go, there's two. So I've got my first two half treble into the next chain two space and it wants me to do that three times in total. So in the next chain two space, and again into the next chain two space, So we've done that three times. You can see there we've got a corner and then we've got three lots of two half trebles. Now then it says to half treble, chain two, half treble in the next chain two space. So let's do that. So half treble, then chain two, half treble in the same space. So we've just created another corner. As I think what you'll find is we've got two corners and one side. So uh, we're gonna repeat this a further five times. So we're not actually, I'm only gonna do it once, you're gonna do it another five times. So two half treble in the next chain space. And we need to do that. Let's split the yarn there, sorry doesn't really split very often this and I've just split it right right so I need to do that another two times that's one half treble two half treble and then the last time one half treble two half treble and then we're creating another corner which is in the next space, it's half a treble, chain two, and half a treble. So as you can see, we are literally turning this circle into a hexagon. Let me just move the camera a bit so you can see. Okay, so I'll do that one more time with you. So in the next chain two space, we're working 
two half trebles, one and two, and do that again. So that's one and two, and then for the last time in this repeat, that's one and two. And then we create a corner again in the next chain two space with a, a half treble, chain two, and half treble. And that is all you are doing for round five. You're doing half treble, chain two, half treble for one corner. And then you're working two half treble in each of the next spaces. So I'm going to finish this and I'll see you at round six for the last round.